Good day to all. Myself, Dr. B. Suresh Kumar, Department of Mechanical Engineering. In previous videos, we discussed about how do we conduct the project work, what is mission force in mission shops, likewise we discussed. Today's uh, video is discussed about, uh, we discussed about how do we introduce flexibility on mechanisms. Here you see the one example is available in that the screws are used to make the motions. Why we utilize these screws for rigid, rigid mechanisms for actuating and also from the flexibility we can reduce the production cost and also mission tool cost on the mission floors. Why can't we utilize these kind of uh, uh, mechanisms in manufacturing industries? Okay, this is the small introduction of the flexibility introduction about the rigid mechanisms. Okay, now hole making operation. For this case today, I consider hole making operation. Hole making is generally known as drilling operation. Drilling is one of the machining operations which is used to make a hole on component face with the aid of drill bit in the form of chips which is known as drilling operation. The, generally, the drill bits are utilized to making a hole on component face in industries. Okay, twist drills are utilized. Okay, twist drills are utilized for making a hole on component face. Generally, twist drill bits are so popular to make a hole. But these drill bits are making problems such as drilling induced damage with the different drilling parameters such as spindle speed, feed rate and the drill diameter which is known as the depth of cut in drilling operation. But the trip panning toolbars produced the list, list thrust force compared to other drill bits such as twist drill and the friction drills. Here I class the new name trip panning. What is trip panning? I can enlarge the tools with the aid of flexible mechanisms. I can enlarge the tool the, rather than repairing operation. In industries, they are generally placed in repairing operation for making a larger drill holes. Here, how can I utilize the flexibility in repairing mechanism? I will discuss. Okay, repairing toolbars produce the holes with the usable removed materials in the form of circular discs, which is not remove the material in the form of chips, in the form of uh, discs. I show you an example. This can be used for alternate products than drill bits. Okay. This repairing operation with the existing toolbars requires different tools for different dimensions of tools because the different diameter, for example, 10 mm of diameter, I can replace the different diameter repairing toolbar. For example, if you are considered the 100 mm of diameter of hole means you may replace different repairing toolbar. Why we utilize the different toolbars, different diameter toolbars for different dimensions? Why can't I utilize the same toolbar for different diameters? So that I utilize flexibility on the machine toolbars. Okay. From this, I can achieve the flexibility on rigid bodies and it get through additional time payable to altering the tool when the size of the holes are changed, which creates decrease in productivity and raises the unnecessary tool cost. The improper introduction or otherwise the not applying the flexibility in rigid bodies, we can't be able to reduce the time. Okay, so that the productivity time also increased. So that I introduce flexibility in machine toolbars. In olden days, the deep hole drilling process are done by drilling and the boring operations. But the hole is made by cutting all metal into chips. I mean, initial days, the drill bit, first drilling operation is carried out after that, the enlargement of hole is carried out through the boring operation. In that, the central part of the workpiece all are damaged or otherwise all are used as a waste chip. Why I can't utilize that central part as a alternate purpose? Why, why I can't utilize that central part for an alternate purpose? For the reason, repanning is uh, introduced. To overcome this problem, repanning attachment is introduced in radial drilling machine to reduce time consumption at the material waste. This is an advantage when cutting expensive alloy as the solid core that can be used to make other parts or if it is recycled. Okay, and it is more valuable than chips. Okay, here I show you a video about a repairing operation. This is the general radial drilling machine. In that spindle, I attach the repairing tool bar. Here you see the repairing tool bar. 
with the radial building machine. The center rectangular box is known as the padding tool bar. The two tool bits, turning tools I inserted, which is used to help the make it, uh, help making the bolts. Okay, here you see I start the radial building machine. It cut out the material from the workpiece. The operator gives a feed rate. On the panning. Feed rate means uh, the tool movement along the workpiece whole axis. Here the depth of cut is radius of the drill bit and also radius of the rotational motion which is known as depth of cut. Here what is flexibility? I can introduce the flexibility with the, this toolbar made of micrometer also. Okay. This is a refining operation. You see here the center part doesn't get any damage. Only the outer parts, outer most diameter only carves out. The operator gives the feed rate on that refining toolbar. From this, he can make the hole on the component face without damage the center part of the workpiece. Here you see the center part is not damaged or failed. Okay. So that he moves the tool head and also he may take the workpiece from the workpiece table. Now you see he replaced, I mean, he removed the center part from the table, the required hole. He may replace that hole for any other purpose, I mean, assembly purpose, and also the center part not fail so that I can replace this center part for any other applications, okay, which is the advantage of uh, repairing operation. In that, the drawback, the most drawback is available because the flexibility not available with the machine toolbar. In this way, we introduce the flexibility. The transient motion given by the left hand and the right hand end of the toolbar and the rotational motion given by left hand and the right hand screws available with the machine toolbar. From this uh, rotation, the operator rotates the screws with the aid of iron key so that the transient movements are carried out on the toolbar. Okay in between the centers of the toolbar. From this we can actuate 100 mm or 50 mm with respect to the screw dimensions. From this we can introduce the flexibility on toolbar which is most important task required in nowadays industries. Here now I adjust the panic tool distance from center at 10 mm plus. Okay. So that initially I may conduct the 100 mm diameter drill. Now I may increase the 20 mm with the enough flexibility so that from this toolbar I can achieve the 120 mm hole diameter. Okay, which is the flexibility introduction on the repairing toolbar. We can utilize this methodology for any other tools available with the, our machine shop. Okay. Thank you. If you have any doubt, you may ask through comment box. Thank you.